We're mincing around the streets of Queenstown today. We're trying to figure out what the situation is with Freedom Camping. Yeah. It's not even plugged in. I think it's the best country you can Freedom Camp possibly in the world. We didn't realize camping was such a big thing. This is the first time we've lived in the van. <laughs> best way to explore New Zealand. There's a lot of them around, eh? Jim, what is the public feeling about Freedom camping. You mean responsible camping. I mean camping. I think it's terrific. It's like a community, you just find each other. Human shit's not fun. Well, there's nothing wrong with camping, <laughs> but the issue is um, we've ended up with too many freedom or responsible campers, and they are becoming a bit of a plague. In the paper, there was always something about the freedom campers here and really negative story. Too many? Yes. Yeah, so I'll show you where the original sort of magic happened as, uh, as it were, right? Eh? Just past this abandoned car. Denny's talking about a post on Queenstown Trading in January 2018 that ignited the Queenstown community. By those couple of pines, there was a few, um, shit. Got my blood boiling a bit, the fact that people are sort of taking the mickey out, out of our beautiful country. Do you sometimes have to do a poo in the woods? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We got very creative with our bathroom habits. You want to go and hand out some of these? You're yeah, driving down Gorge Road, there's a couple of jippos parked up in their high ace. Oh, would you give them a toot? <laughs> I kind of had a negative opinion towards campers myself before I started this job, but now that I've actually been in amongst it and talking with the campers, most of them want to do the right thing. If there was actually toilets, I wouldn't mind it at all. I mean, this New Zealand's about freedom camping, isn't it? Go to designated places that are beautiful. There's mint places everywhere. There's got to be a balance where the people that are going to do it properly can still go and do it. We can't just say, no, you've wrecked it for everyone. Well, there you go. A generally warm response in freedom camping in our country. The thing is, is we make it a bit better, provide some more amenities, and at what cost?